My name's Sol McKeown, I'm a freelance journalist, I work for a number of publications, I'm also one of the BET judges. So I get to see a lot of different schools and a lot of different software. The thing that frustrates me at the moment is there's just too much, I think, on assessment, exams and admin. And as a result, there's not such interesting practice in the classroom. Too much now is geared to exams, really. In the past, you'd see lots of interesting projects. But often now, what they're concerned about is whether their young people are going to get the five GCSEs or the equivalent, whether they're going to get vocational qualifications. And I think, along with other aspects of the curriculum, a lot of creativity has disappeared. My particular specialism is special needs and kids who underachieve, and I think many of them are now penalised by the system that we're under. What I'd like to see is a return to creativity, people designing their own curriculums, and lots of new and interesting developments. What I fear we're going to see is a continuation of an emphasis on an exam-driven culture. I think there's a lot of interest at the moment in things like uh, artificial intelligence, virtual reality. A lot of what I'm seeing I think is quite gimmicky. Um, there's a lot of exam type sites at the moment, uh, lots of managed services and people being very circumscribed in the resources that they can offer to young people. Quite a number of those I don't find sufficiently accessible and I think accessibility is something that companies should be looking at more and more. I think it can be. One of the things which was really bad about whiteboards was we saw a return to front of the classroom teaching and that was often the whiteboards weren't terribly accessible to people who had sight problems. Uh, it also didn't work well for behaviour. So trying to get you know some young man of 15 who got a strop on to come out to the front to do things never worked terribly well in my experience. And I think I'd like to see more which starts with learners and perhaps relates more to the way that they're using technology in their own lives. Because if there's a divide between the technology they have at school and the technology that they have at home and in their leisure time, I don't think it's going to take off. It's always going to look rather old fashioned and um, very much sort of set by people they don't have a lot in common with. I think there's going to be a real divide there.